Got one. Oh, goodness. I didn't even know I had them. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Seas Outdoors. And today, we're going to be doing a little bit of fly fishing right here. Got the old fly rod. Today's objective is to catch, like, the biggest bass ever on a fly rod, which I don't know what that be, but we're going to try to do it. Try to set a little state record in Oklahoma. So, yeah, we're just going to go out there and try to catch some fish with the old fly rod from Wild Water Fly Fishing. Link in the description. Let's do it. Go ahead and check out the Patreon down below. We're about to start posting some good stuff on there. If you like some real yee yee stuff, some real country boy stuff, you don't want to check it out. But if you guys don't know anything about fly fishing, it's just something that look, kind of looks like a fly basically. It's a rod that just is really light. So the rig we're using is just a double rig. A little nymph fly right there. And a little woolly bugger. I mean, it's white. They got little snaps on there. Should catch something, you know. And let me tell you, whenever they bite on something like this, it is a fight to get them in. Loosen the drag a little bit. Yep, just kind of got home from school and I was like, you know what? Go try to catch fish. Well, they're doing some tractor work. Get a little farming. Farming simulator in real life. Oh goodness. Thought it was a fish. It broke. It's pretty deep over here. Got one. Got one. Oh, it's crappy. Crappy, if you will. That is a slapper. Man. On the old woolly booger. I still don't know why they call them woolly boogers. Somebody was like on something whenever they made that name, you know? So right here, it's just a white crappie covered in mud, you know? I think it's a white crappie. I mean, it's white, so. He got one. See if we can catch the buddy. pretty simple to cast a fly rod. So let's say you just got your new fly rod and you're like, how do I cast this? So it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is pull out some line, toss it out there, pull some more line out, toss it out there. And I mean, just keep doing it. And plus your drag will probably be pretty loose, but it's really not gonna matter because you're probably gonna be reeling with your hands and you probably tighten that up once you hook onto a fish. So yeah, that's how you cast a fly rod. It's always a mystery fly fishing because you don't know what you're gonna catch. Just have like a little bluegill bite it. I'm gonna head to a different pond. We're gonna sneak up on these little fishies. See if we can catch one of these bass in these ponds. If we make a couple casts right here, we'll probably be able to pull out a good nice little half a pound to a pound bass. I've never really caught a big bass on here. I've caught like some tiny ones. Got him. Man. I call right here, right here in the shallow part-ish. I just got a green woolly booger tied on because lost like four flies yesterday. Had to go contact some companies. I was like, y'all guys got to help me out. You turn your GoPro on? Yeah. Could you imagine if you caught a fish and you didn't have it on? Catch the PB, don't you have a GoPro on? Got him. Feels like a small blue geel. Oh, that's a crappie. We are just tearing crappie up in this video. What are you trying to get? Bass. I take crappie though. Would you like to catch a fish with a fly rod? There you go. Take the rope. Try me. As he lets it get tangled up. Wow, that is amazing. Watch me catch like a PB bass. That's a good cast. Right there, yeah. Oh, 
that's good. Let us sit. Put your rods in there. A lights moving. You got one. Set it. Dang, what is this? It's a freaking... Move it over there. Move it over there. The bass? Crappie. Go over there. Big old crappie. Don't hold, Don't break the rod. You gotta hold it down. Oh, dang, it's a big old crappie. Where's the line at? It's a little crappie. You got him stuck. What a stud. Tearing up crappie in this video. We try to catch a bass, but dude, he was barely hooked. Can I catch another one? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. That'll work. The reason I'm wiping the camera is because I I think I like have water on there. Oh goodness. I didn't even know I had them. Oh, it's a fight. Oh. Oh, it's a big crappie. Oh, that's a slabber, dude. Dude, there's so much crappie in this pond. Third crappie of the, well, fourth crappie of the video. So much crappie in this pond. This place would be the place to do a 24 hour camping challenge. Like I'm talking crappie for dinner every night. Crappie. Or little bitty bass. I got a little bitty bass. Oops, down there somewhere. Chris, have you ever thought about being a pro bass fisherman? Yeah. Huh. That is deep nation. Mm -hmm. Easy fish. One hour later. Get a GoPro on this guy. And that's not that bad for a winter fish. Oh goodness. Ain't bad. What do you think? Like a three quarters of a pound? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a ton of fun filming it. And hey, I mean, we might have not caught the biggest bass, but at least we caught something, right? Caught like, what was it? Four crappie, a bass, and Aiden caught a bass. Also, a huge shout out to Aiden Reed for letting me fish this pond. And also, Wild Water Fly Fishing for uh, sending me that fly rod. Go check out Wild Water Fly Fishing down below. And uh, while you're down there, go ahead and subscribe and like this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.